Yo, what is up Smash players? In today's video, I want to talk about the difference between a character that is easy to play and a character that is easy to win with, because it's a common misconception in the Smash community that these two are the same, and they're actually slightly different, and let me explain. I want to share a good example, and this is going to be from DeBuzz's difficulty tier list. Now this type of tier list is nothing new, but let's use DeBuzz's for an example. Now I want to talk about Corrin, because he puts Corrin in the second easiest tier, and my thoughts on that is that I actually really agree with that. I do think Corrin is a very easy to play character. Now what does that mean? I define easy to play, a character that is easy to play as a character with straightforward tools, with straightforward uh, combos, and with like a straightforward game plan. You play as Corrin and all her moves are kind of, they make sense, you know, you swing a sword, right? That's not hard. And her combos, you know, you throw out a move and then you can kind of just like fair and then fair again or nair and then fair, nair, bear, like they all kind of make sense. There's nothing really tricky. There's nothing like frame tight or whatever. And you know, the game plan, it's just like you have a lot of range. So like keep them out, right? Now, the thing is a friend of mine who mains corn actually replied to DeBuzz's difficulty tier list and said, everyone says Corrin is so easy to play, but they try to play her for months on end and never have any success with her. And you know what? I actually really agree with that reply. Now you might think that if I agree with both, that they're in disagreement, but they're actually not in disagreement because Corrin is very easy to play. However, Corrin is very hard to win with. Because even though her tools are easy to use, they're straightforward, her game plan isn't the most complex, there's nothing crazy frame tight if you're just trying to play her, you know, competently. However, she doesn't have the best area mobility. Her disadvantage is pretty bad. To abuse your advantage fully, you need to be precise and accurate with where you're putting your hitboxes. You need to know how to use her grab because her grab range is really small. You need to know how to move because, again, her mobility is really slow. There's a lot of things about Corrin that make it difficult to win with. And she doesn't have any extreme cheese or extremely strong kill options that are really easy to hit. That is the main difference between a character that is easy to play and a character that is easy to win with. If you're trying to play a character that is easy to win with, it doesn't necessarily mean they're easy to play. However, once you learn how to play them, they can be very easy to win with. My favorite example is Mega Man, because it is very easy to get high GSP as Mega Man once you know how to play him. And very often, you can tell a character is easy to win with when you see players who might not be so great have really high GSP. Bowser is a very good example. Maybe even King Dedede. And I'm not saying if you have high GSP as these characters, it doesn't mean you're not good, but it just means sometimes these players might not be good, but because it's so easy to win with, they get high. Now I, I sometimes just three stock these Mega Mans with high GSP because they really don't know what they're doing. They just have high GSP because they're playing a character that's easy to win with, even though their character is hard to play. There's actually a last second thing I forgot to mention, and that is the quick play win rates. And if you look at the quick play win rates, you'll see the number one character with the highest win rate is Richter. Now to me, Richter isn't really the easiest to play. But if you play him just a tiny bit and have a decent understanding, he's not a character you could pick up and play and instantly know like how to use all his moves. He's not like you just swing a sword around like Lucina or you just swing out your fair, bear, nair, like Yoshi. You actually need to know like he has an angled like whip, right? You need to know when to use the down B, the side B, the neutral B. But once you have a reasonable understanding, it's actually by far the easiest to win as Richter online. And I also want to note that when I say easy to win with, often that just means at like a competent level. It definitely gets harder to win as these characters the higher you go up. But when we're talking about at a competent level, then easy to win with is going to be better off for winning than easy to play. Easy to play will make you feel like you've learned a character, but you might not be winning. So I hope I made that clear. I don't want to give an example with every character. I think I've said enough. So if you want to share your thoughts on this, let me know down in the comments below. I want you to hit that thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, have a swell evening, and I'll see you next time.